All right. So I'm done with the first batch, which is the lemon pepper. See, I have tied it and twisted it at the other end. You have some big ones for people who want the big ones. And then we have small ones here for people who don't want big ones like me. This is like a little baby one, the, the last of the bunch. <laughs> it wasn't enough to make a big one. So this would be like a snacker for people to taste and see if they like them. But for the, the casings, like I said, were $10 for the pack and I've been making a lot of sausages so I'll say the casings would cost you I'll say a dollar fifty maybe even less and then the chicken is six dollars it you can go to the 99 cent store and get the lemon juice an onion is less than a dollar like less than 50 cents to be honest with you and so is the garlic you can get from 99 cent store so and all of that made this with the one pack of chicken. Okay? And you get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. About 13, 14 because I have one in the oven. Because, you know, I like to taste what I'm doing. So, yeah. You get that amount for cheaper than going and buying it at a store. Okay? So I'm going to finish making the rest of my sausages and I'll tune back in with you guys after I put them in Ziploc baggies and stuff and put them in the freezer and show you how I do that. All right, bye. All right, everybody. I noticed that I say all right in the beginning of all my videos. That's funny. <laughs> but anyway, let me just quit. Um... I'm done with stuffing all of my sausages. I did all three batches. The other two are in the freezer. The first one I froze was the lemon pepper chicken one. The next one I froze was the one with the corn and the cheddar cheese. Now this one is with the southwestern seasoning with feta cheese and apple. Now I'm going to show you how I store my stuff. because. With making this much sausage, what will happen is your freezer will be overrun. If you're putting them in the freezer, packing them, like you don't want to take them out of the freezer and have them sitting in the refrigerator for a long time either. So, what I do is I take the little sandwich bags, these right here, and I put two in each bag because that's serving sizes for me. Now, if there was a family, um, you would put like maybe four of them in here and put them to the side. You know, you don't want to pull out too many at one time because then they'll go bad. You don't want your chicken and stuff to go bad. So, what I do is I just take them. Two. Close it up take the air out of it, close it up, put it to the side, get your next bag, open it, I'm going to take these two and put them to the side. My Auntie Karen and, um, my friend Teresa, Teresa wants to try some, so I'm going to put those to the side over here for them. Let me finish packaging, packaging them. Oh, I can't talk today. <laughs> Let me finish packaging them, and then I'll get back to you guys. Okay? Alright, guys. I'm back, and everything is... Packaged. Here goes an extra package right here, but these big ones are going to go to my auntie and my friend. So I'm going to put these over here. Now, each batch that I've made has yield, yielded between um, 14 to 16 sausages. And that's a lot. 
for the little amount that I was talking about. So, you don't want your refrigerator or your freezer to be overrun with all these little itty bitty baggages. Baggages. Ba <laughs> packages. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I have a very large freezer bag here that I just found. See? And I take them all and I put them in there. In here. Now, what you can do is you can um, write the name on it like I did the other ones. I wrote the name. I wrote lemon pepper. I wrote, you know, cheddar and, and corn. So you know which one you want. And once you put them in here, let's open it up and put them all in here. Once you put them in here and you feel like eating something out of that pack for the day or or you know your meal for the week or whatever what have you you don't have to pull out all the sausages all you have to do is go in the freezer unzip this bag and pull one out that's so easy instead of having to break them off or pull the whole thing out and unthaw the whole entire thing to just get two sausages or one sausage or four for the family when we have like about 16 here. So it's like, why do all that? So usually what I do is I put a pack aside to put in the refrigerator and then I put a pack, the, the rest of them, in the freezer. And um, then the packs that I put aside whenever I first make them, I cook them all at once so that you don't have to continue to heat your oven and stuff for, you know, whatever reason there is. Like if you want to keep cooking two at a time, you don't have to do that. So, yeah, all that jazz. <laughs> it's simple, it's easy. You know, and I know it seems like it's hard work, but once you're in the groove, it's really not. It's just time consuming. That's it. It's not really hard at all. So after you chop up your chicken and you season your meat, the first day you can marinate it overnight. Next time, or if you do the lemon pepper, you, you can marinate it within 30 to 45 minutes. And then... Add whatever else you want to add in it and stuff it. The same time that you make your, if you're doing the lemon pepper, I'll use that as example. Um, if you want to do the lemon pepper one and you have that marinating, you can have your casing soaking at the same time because it takes about 45 minutes for that to happen too. So it's a it depends on what you're doing that determines how long it's going to take you. But these are some very simple, easy, something that you can just have ready for you if you're like on a diet or if you're trying to eat a certain way, if you don't want to overeat and you have like a, you, you don't eat a lot and you have a specific type of way that you eat, this is perfect for you. Okay, it's perfect for me. This is how I do all my food. At the beginning of the month, I like make a big batch of something, freeze half of it, eat the rest of it, or I um, buy as I go. Because I don't want anything to go, go to waste. I'm not wasteful. So, there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed the videos. I hope you guys w were able to take from the videos and learn something. And help to open up you guys' creativity in creating some wonderful sausages or whatever other meals that you want to make. So, see you guys again. Bye.